making sure that I'm actually being should be okay. All right, and it looks like both of them are readied up. So we're going to go ahead and start this. We have SR attacking first and made and defending on the map Fortress. All right, it looks like we're going to have Maiden banning first. Let's see what kind of ban they're going to go for here. Probably, mm, trying to think of what SR plays. Probably just give me a Hard Breach or Thermite or Habana. Could be wrong. Actually, we're going to go with an Ash ban. Which, I guess, is fitting since the head of SR is named is Washed Up Ash. So that makes sense. He probably plays a lot of Ash. That is definitely a target ban from Maiden. I saw a little unsure. They're going to go for a Monty or a Blitz. I know, probably Monty be, since uh, Maiden is very shield heavy. Or they're going to go for a Blitz here. They don't want to deal with that uh, Flashes, which I can understand because it can be annoying to deal with. Then we're going to have SR banning a Defender next. This can go either way. They could just stick with a normal ban or a target ban. Echo, Maestro maybe, or just a target ban. Not and we have an Echo. So they're just going to stick with the basics here, and then we're going to have Maiden's last ban. And they picked that real fast. This is probably going to be a target ban once again, like the Ash. Doc. Definitely, it's got to be a target ban. One of SR must play a lot of Doc, and they just want to get that. They want to basically frustrate SR as much as possible, which is, it, the tactic definitely works. It can throw players off their game. They're going to try Bedroom and Commander's Office first for defense. My, In my opinion, it's probably one of the be better sites. A lot of the sites are actually, re I think, are really good on this map. Bedroom being, I think, the most basic, the easiest to defend. But you all, it also depends, it comes down to strats. This is what this, this entire game is going to come down to, which team practice for Fortress, which team has strats for Fortress. You can def you definitely cannot just go into Fortress with no strats and just winging it on defense because you 100% need to figure out what you're going to be doing. You got to figure out what you need a mirror, what are you going to use here. Let's see what kind of setup they're going to do here. They don't have a mirror. A rotation hole right there really smart. It stops the plant from right here. You do not want the enemy team to be able to thermite that wall and go in for a plant. So that rotation hole is really, really smart. And it looks like they're just going to do a standard sight setup. And a hatch up for uh, easy rotations. And also smoke. Shotgunning the wall right there. The bottom of the wall. I'm not sure if he's going to play that from bathroom or from over here. That also gives the attackers a nasty angle into bathroom from the ground. He, I think he's going to play it from bathroom, watching them hop in that window right there, shooting their feet. That's the uh, lineup for today. SR versus Maiden. Drone up and running. Getting their drones out. Gonna clear out the roamers. Ooh, the vigil. The vigil is gonna be real hard. This map is a very, very big map. And if they don't clear out this vigil now, it's just gonna bite them in the ass later. But without drone being off the drone, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Because they don't even know that he's below them. They think he's up there somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. 
Vigil is definitely ready for a nice flank over here. We also have Cav on the realm. Cav and Vigil on the realm. This is gonna be This is gonna be hard for SR. They're gonna they're gonna need to clear them out right away. Okay. And they're drone down. And they do not do not see the vigil. But Vigil misses his shots onto the IQ, but he still gets the kill. Wow, that could have went real bad for the vigil right there. Yeah, on this type of map, it looks like Nomad's just going to place a claymore and just move on. With this size map, you're, that's what you need to do. Except we have Cav playing right here with a shotgun. Oh my god, this is going to be brutal. I don't know if she's going to get droned out. She might. Let's see like Nomad's are. Oh, she did see her, her. Wow. Good play by the Nomad right there, getting the Cav off the board. <laughs> Taking a lot of time, though. Device ready. 40 seconds left, 4v4. Smoke's playing in the bathroom. Reloading. Vigil's still on the flank with Jackal. Trying to push him, yeah, Jackal. You have you have diffuser. You cannot be trying to push that roamer. You do not have time. Smoke getting a kill from the bathroom. Being very lit. Nest in position. They do not have time to push this way. This is gonna be real rough for uh, SR. Vigil getting a kill. Now it's all up to the Nomad. One v four. And she gets taken out by the Jaeger. That was a great hold by uh, Maiden right there. The roaming. That's what they're going to do all game. Vigil, Cav are coming out all game long. Because you just can't deal with it. Especially on this type of map. This map is huge. I think definitely the biggest map out of all of them. So it's just impossible to push all those roamers. Especially having to drone and you can't even find Vigil with your drones. What, what SR needs to do here, they need to just get a Claymore on the flank, or even have someone watching the flank. Nomad is a great idea. Claymore and a Nomad, that's a great idea, putting that on the flank, and then just pushing sight. It was six big from Blackbeard to Sledge and Smoke to a Bandit. Bandit is definitely a must. Bandit or Mute, I think, is a or Kaid now. A great pick for dorms. You want to Bandit that wall right away. Yep, this wall right here. That's usually a nice default plant spot right there. Thermiting that wall, dropping old tower right here, getting a claim on the flank, and then pushing in, thermiting that wall, holding angles. That is the kind of attack that we need to see from SR right now. Them just securing this hallway right here and securing over this hallway right here. That's all they need to hold. Have someone watching the flank so that Cav or Vigil cannot just come up behind them and screw it up. They have the, a good lineup for this kind of attack. They just got to execute it the right way. However, we also... I think Bandit, he's not even going to put his Bandit down. He's going to Bandit Trick. That's going to... Definitely spell some trouble for SR, but I think that's the kind of attack that we need to see from SR right now. Activated device. Oh, he's gonna put his bandits, put one of the bandits down. Yep, this is what we're gonna see. SR is going to try to take control of this hallway right here. Cav and Vigil probably, yep, they're right down, Cav's right down here, ready to come up those stairs. You got it. D don't even bother roam clearing, just get a claymore, get something up and someone watching the flank. Then they can't do anything about it. Cav gonna get droned out? I think she will. Nope, she did not get droned out. Wow. 
Yep, Nomad right there, perfect. Oh, and Bandit gets the first Thermite charge off the wall. You're gonna get rid of that, you gotta get rid of that Bandit. Oh, why? Don't have Thermite do it. Thermite needs to get the wall. Have someone else peek the door and get rid of the Bandit. Or just distract Bandit enough so you can get the wall off. You do not want Thermite doing that. Time to ring some ears. Nope, no one's distracting. Oh. This is not this is not good. He's gonna put his bandit charge down. Oh, and there it goes. Definitely a misstep right there by SR. They might be able to pull it back, but it's gonna be rough. This is their positioning. We have IQ entering in from over here though. But I don't think she's droning. Luckily there's no one up over here. Cav is playing those a tight corner right on those stairs though. Cav's shotgun, that's gonna be real deadly. There goes the bandit. That's what needed to freaking happen. Before you uh, try the thermite the wall, still pull it back. Cav downs and kills the thermite. Cav just gonna run away, bide your time. Not looking good for Maiden though. 4v2, two of the roamers. Vig oh, Vigil's on site. Oh my god. I thought Vigil just got a double kill right there. They are sledges planting the diffuser. Cav's gonna come behind. Cav is nomaded. Angles. 2v2. Maiden might pull this back, or SL, SR might take their first round. Yup, 2v1. Hold angles. Cav's gonna have to run at you. That was some fucking amazing chicken. Right there by the Cav. Getting by that guy. Cav with a shotgun gonna kill 1v1. Run away, IQ. And it's gonna be one one. SR just won that round. Made him won the first round. This is this this game is gonna be neck and neck. It's gonna be like this all game long. Looks like they're gonna go back to dorms. The bandit worked. Like, they got both the thermite charges. At that point, should have just held angles. But they're bringing a castle now. I think that's gonna change this. This is that's what they needed. They definitely are learning, learning from their mistakes, bringing out the castle. I don't know about putting a castle on that one though. I, I honestly think that's gonna be a waste. But, I mean, to each his own. Gonna try for a bandit trick again, but the thing is, they have a sledge, so the castle might not be much of a challenge for SR. SR's just gotta do the same kind of attack they did uh, the last round, except kill the bandit before you try and for a thermite. Throw a grenade in there. Sledge has a grenade. Just lob a grenade behind that uh, bed, because I know it's hard to see. We have Cav. Oh, that's not Cav. Vigil's playing bottom of the little tower. Which is smart because they can't drone him out. Oh, he's actually pinched over here. He just needs someone on that window. Did lose half of his health right there though. Tight angle. Miss gets some shots onto the Thatcher, but doesn't get get the kill. Cav's just gonna roam around until she's needed. Nothing much happening over there. Vigil coming back around to this side of the site. 
Meaning, SR is going to have complete control of this hallway right here. No one even on the flank. Where's Sledge? Sledge is coming. Let him get the castle. Well, he's smart. I'm real worried about that cat on the flank. This could spell trouble for SR. Cav could definitely fucked up, fuck some shit up right now. Ooh, Vigil gets taken out by the Ying. Reloading. Jaeger gets taken out by the Thermite. Cav's offsite. Ooh, but Ying does not know that Cav's behind her. So here comes an interrogation. Oh. Honestly, if a bandit didn't kill, that could have been interrogation right there. The fuser is down. 3v2, bandits lit, cav on the flank. I don't think cav sees him. Does cav see the flank? She does. And she gets taken out. Just bandit with no health. Round goes to SR. They played it perfectly. That was a great attack by SR. Maiden, the roamers, just they didn't do much. They weren't able to do much. Vigil got pushed out of Old Tower real fast. Cav was just roaming around on the other side of the side of the map. Honestly, they should go to a different site. Oh, they're gonna go back to bedroom and commander's office. You go bedroom commander's office, still bringing the cav and the vigil. Honestly, it worked well the first round, but the last two rounds it hasn't really, hasn't really done much. Bandit killing the ying. Dude, cav was coming up right behind that ying. She could have got an interrogation, an easy interrogation. Ying was all by herself. Seems like the same lineup. SR is actually bringing a fuse this round. I don't know about that one. I think they were thinking that of bringing a fuse because they were castling off site, so they were just gonna fuse the castle. But unfortunately, there's no castle this time, and uh, I'm not sure. I mean, there's not a lot of soft walls that you can get a fuse on too. Maybe into bathroom, but I mean. They just gotta play it smart. They gotta play it right. They gotta position the fuse in the correct, correct way in order to get his, uh, his utility used. Cab playing downstairs and we vigil. It's just. Like. They're using. Ooh, Cavs actually could get a kill right here. Just gotta play it smart and not get droned out. Oh, the drone's gonna see her though. The drone saw her. And she's running now. Yeah, don't go that way. <laughs> SR should not chase these roamers though. They definitely cannot. Just gotta get watch flank, and that's it. And it seems like that's what they're doing. They're playing it smart. They're playing the map right. Fortress is real hard to clear roamers because it's such the size of the map is ridiculous. You're gonna try to go for a thermite on that wall. Is Fuse gonna do it? I'm kinda I'm kinda waiting to see if he's gonna fucking do it. They get the thermite off actually. And Jaeger kills the thermite. It's a fuser down. Reloading, cover me. Jaeger's gonna have a nasty angle right here. So isn't Capcan. This is no bueno for uh SR right now. As soon as one of them peaks, Capcan is getting a kill. Smoke holding the bathroom. We still don't forget about Cav and Vigil. Cav's still down here. Vigil's way over here. Changing marks. 
exchanging some shots with, I believe, Thatcher right there. Seems like SR is falling a little apart. They're not sure exactly how they want to attack this. Stacking up right there. Nomad does get the kill. Captain gets the kill over there. Ooh, is that Cav on the flank? There we go. Cav on the flank gets a kill. 1v4 situation with just Nomad left. And she gets taken out by the Vigil. Not a bad defending round by uh, Maiden right there. That was actually pretty good. I think SR did play it well, but they just got picked off by the Jaeger and the Capcan in sight. There wasn't a lot that they could do. They also didn't... They were bunching up way too much on that Thermite wall. They definitely... I think they Thermited the wall too early, and they should have got a little bit more spread out, a little bit... Positioning definitely needed to be better on that, that round on attack for SR. But that was a great round by Maiden. They played that beautifully. Just Cav and Vigil just chilling until then, until like the very uh, last minute and just coming up on the flank getting a kill. Anyone's game though, 2-2. Two to two. Looks like they're going to go Kitchen Cafeteria this time, which is good because Dorms is not working for them at all. Kitchen is a great map. However, they don't have a Bandit. So, oh, they do have a Mute though, but the Thatcher's going to... Oh, they actually switched off the Thatcher. There's no Thatcher this round. They're not going to be able to get that wall now. Unless Sledge somehow gets a grenade. Overbutt to the mutes, but... That's real pushing it. Looked like they did sit, uh, switch off the Vigil and the Cav. It's, it worked the first round. It kind of worked the last round, but the other two rounds it didn't work. I, I mean, it's... I, th I think it was smart playing something else. Switching it up. I 100% agree with you, Koala. Legion is definitely better than Frost in my opinion. But sometimes Frost maps can be unexpected uh, injuries. But I don't. Deploying welcome. Mm. Oh, here, here. Now, this is an interesting site setup by uh, Maiden. They're really like just locking themselves in. I think they're planning on playing laundry though. Yeah, Frost looks like she's gonna play laundry. Except for there. I kinda like that, especially with her Frost mats so close to her. Because it basically just makes you choose. Shoot the player or shoot the Frost mat while you're entering in the window. <laughs> Making a call, looking at the coat rack, or the castle. I don't know, I mean, I like that the fact that they have no roamers, it's gonna throw SR through a huge loop because now they're roam clearing with a freaking Monty. They got so sick of Cav and Vigil roaming that they are face checking with a Monty. That's, that's how you know when, you, when you've got them. But they're wasting time, they just don't know. That was a brilliant, I think this is a brilliant strategy by me, and they're just chilling. They're just sitting at, sitting in sight, nothing, nothing going wrong, making them waste their time. Oh my god, they're all just stacking on the Oh my. Okay. I don't, doesn't seem like SR, ooh, they're getting the mute though. They still have to take that, uh, infirmary though. They have Frost, and I believe Cat Castle was playing in there. Got Castle sitting right here. I hope they're not planning on dropping that hatch. Oh my god. We do have Monty pushing from over here. They burned a minute of their time. Or Sledge. Guys. <laughs> Come on, you don't have time. Nothing to open the sledge. They have a ying. It's just they're they're going too slow. Jaeger is downed. Oh my god. Come on, Ying, come on. And there's Ying. Ooh, Jesus Christ. It's the Jaeger. Still they have 30 seconds left. I don't know. I don't know. I think Maiden, if they buckle down, they can still win this. Changing back. Use your utility, Ying. Ugh. Come on, guys. I think Maiden can hold this. 
Oh, that was a nasty, nasty shot. And that's not looking good for Maiden. Maiden does get a nice kill right there. Forest castle right there. With the Monty. Ooh, he does. Stops the plant. They might win the round. And he's planting just in time at zero seconds left. Oh my god. For Forest literally just almost won the round for them. He shot that they had zero seconds left. They started planting zero seconds. Wow. That was smart. He just saw the planter and just immediately went for that guy. He did not care if it cost his life. That was a great hold by Maiden. I think it really worked. It worked really well. SR was was really, really slow to attack site right there. I honestly thought that they were not going to have enough time. They were really scraping the bottom of the barrel. I mean, 0-0 zero, zero when you're planting. No, yeah, the, uh, my issue with the Ying, though, no utility. U her utility was not used at all. They used a lot of Sledge's utility. Nomad has been an amazing pick for this game so far. I think Nomad is a really good choice for this map. See what they're gonna do. They they did bring the cav back. Honestly, I would have picked the vigil over the cav because of the drowning. Vigil is just so valuable. You have no idea where he is. Getting hatched this time. Even though they didn't even push from this hatch, it was still kind of a nuisance to have to deal with. Yeah, we're gonna go for the ROM again. We got the scoreboard up here. I do like, I love the Monty pick by SR. Being a shield main myself, I love the pick. I think it it really, it worked well last time for them to just walk into sight like that. I think they just gotta do their that faster. Cab yeah, just chilling. Monty droning out. Don't agree with that. I think, honestly, other people drone Monty in my opinion, so Monty can follow it up with drone plus face check with Monty. Perfect ROM clear. Hard Breacher definitely should not be entering in, especially with Diffuser. That is like the big no. Hard Breacher does not, Hard Breacher should be the one droning, should be the one, as soon as he dies, especially with Diffuser, it's... It sets the attacking team back so much. Reload. I think they're just walking around too casually. Where is the Monty? Monty's still droning. Cav coming down the stairs. Cav gets lit and she gets taken out by the Nomad. Oh my god, it's taking... Monty was still in spawn. SR is doing a good job. I feel like they're not using the ops to their full potential. A really big fucking hole coming right up. I'm gonna throw my that. Oh, it's muted. <laughs> yup. Should have brought the Thatcher. Thatcher would have been so easy. They're gonna have to Monty push right there. Where's the Sledge? Sledge is gonna come over here. Sledge is coming down. The, the call was made, and Sledge is on his way. A little bit of uh. The coordination is not like 100%, but they are definitely getting shit sorted out right now, and they're pushing smart. 50 seconds left. 3v5. Yep, just get the mutes off. Here we go. Stay back. There you go. Right push right now. Turn around and load. Okay. <laughs> ah, please don't tell me you're going to smoke it. Thermite just running in. What are you... I mean, like, okay, <laughs> it's working. Man's gonna throw smoke. Smoke gets taken out by the Nomad. Jeez, Monty. Yeah, just sit right there in the diffuser. All from the mute now. This is 
is a tall order right now. 4v4v1. Four four Fuser's down, and Monty just just chilling there. And Mew gets taken out by the Buck. That was honestly... It was a good attacking round by SR. They, they're they slow. They're slow to uh, to get going, but once they do, they're making callouts. They're changing stuff around. Their communication, I think, is very on point because there's pings going out. And, like, they're making callouts. It's great. And it's winning them rounds. But I think they just got to do it a little bit faster. Maiden, the roamers. I feel like they got the roamers got to be a little bit better. I think Vigil would do wonders for roaming. But now we're going to have a side switch. SR is going to uh, defend with Maiden attacking. And they're going to go for Kitchen Cafeteria first. However, they don't have a mute or a bandit. I'm seeing if they're going to... wonder if they're going to six pick right here. Hmm... Doesn't look like it. Maybe they have something up their sleeves. Maybe they have a strat that we've never seen before. That's the great thing about playing new maps. You get to see all new kinds, all new kinds of strats and the like. I think Elysian was a great pick because Maiden, 100%. They run a lot of Monty and a lot of shields, hence the Blitz ban. <laughs> yep. That looks like they're gonna go for the uh, deep, the normal mirror strat. Placing a mirror behind the little uh, little oven right there. Showing that. My only issue is this wall right here. They have nothing to stop that. If uh, Maiden take reads into this, sees that they don't have a mute or anything. Right here, take control of this. Thermite that wall. Monty push, smoke. Doke call, do what you need to do. I think Maiden, this is gonna be this could be an easy attack for Maiden right here. In order to counter that, SR is gonna have to step with the roamers. They're definitely gonna need to challenge right over here. Look at that. Monty coming in right. He is immediately right here. Here we go. Drone Monty. Drone Monty. Drone it out and Monty face checks. That's how it's. That's how the uh, drone clear should be. Even have someone falling a little bit behind Monty as well. Give him that extra help. Yep, they're going right here. If only like they could. Honestly, they should play above. But fortunately, they can't. The thermite does go off right off the bat, wasting no time. No time. Monty's by himself over here. Dealing with the Jaeger. And he gets the Jaeger! There you go. That was really risky, though. Wow. <laughs> Of shit. Five v four. Smoke is lit. Four v four. One minute left. See you two. I, 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 Monty does have no, has huge fucking balls, but I think he was way too aggressive right there. Oh no, <laughs> way too aggressive. 3v2 right now. Next in position. 30 seconds left, I gotta go for the plant. Mirror is down actually, so it's a 2v2. We have a disconnect by experts. So we're gonna have to go for a rehost after this round, unfortunately. Grenade. Ooh, getting flashed, all of them. <laughs> Ooh. Good kill right there. Sophia running around. Hold angles, guys. Hold angles. And Sophia gets taken out by the Legion. 5-2 right now. 
So, and it looks like we had a disconnect by the expert, so unfortunately we're gonna have to have a rehost. Which I'm gonna wait just to make sure. Yep, we're gonna have a rehost. Yep, I'm gonna go. Sorry for the delay, folks. We're gonna have to rehost this real quick. I'm gonna have to remember the round count, which is always a blast. Make sure it's the right map first. We get those invites out. Make sure I'm gonna get their I'm gonna spell their names right, because everyone's always has to have these wacky gamer tags. So there we go, the head of Maiden is invited, and I'm going to invite the head of SR. The head of SR is invited, I'm going to get these uh, band operators correct, and we're going to have a Blitz, and it was a Ash, and then we have an Echo, and a Doc. Blue team is starting, add round history. So we had bedrooms, commander's office. Orange won that round. Second round, we had dorms, briefing room. Blue won that round. Then we had dorms again. Blue won. Then we had commander's office. Orange won. This is Make sure I get this right. I guess the first couple of rounds don't matter. So orange win right there. Blue win. Blue win. Orange win. Then they went to kitchen. Blue win. Then. Oh, fuck. I know it was blue win. I'm not exactly sure where it was, though. Did they go cafeteria twice? They must have. What? One orange win, one, two, three, four. Then there would be round swap, and then it was a blue win, and it was kitchen cafeteria. Five to two, okay. I'm going to invite the Maiden again. Make sure they got those invites. That's spelled right. Don't want the issue to be on my end. Okay, so I invited Maiden again. Gonna wait for them to get back here again. I apologize for the delay. Uh, the expert looks like he had a disconnect the last round, so we're gonna try to get this back on the road. And here we go. Head of Maiden is here, and he's going to invite the rest of his squad. Just to make sure this is correct one more time. Orange win. Blue win. Blue win. Orange win. 
Blue, blue, blue. It's five to two. Five to two with SR leading right now. It's still anyone's game. And it's gonna be blue is going to be on defense. It's gonna wait for both teams to ready up and we can get this match back started. Oh, and we have a disconnect by the IGL. I send him another invite. And he is back in here. Just gonna wait for SR to ready up. And both sides are ready up, so we're gonna get back into the game. We have SR versus Maiden. SR is going to be defending now. Five to two, SR is ahead. Yes, I see you're ready. Okay. Yep, thank you. All right, it looks like SR is going to go dorms and briefing room. Six pick from the Sophia to the Capital. Oh, no, a Nomad. Nomad, I think she's underappreciated. She's a great op. Her gun is great. Her ability is real great on just, instead of roam clearing, just getting rid of the flank, getting a Claymore. Honestly, I hope they don't remove the Claymore, but I feel like they might. <laughs> you know, dorms. No, oh, they do have a castle. And they're going to castle that door. <laughs> Seems like everyone's doing that nowadays. Putting their bayonets down real early, though. There is a Twitch drone. You got to be careful about that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. They're just putting that right off the bat. Twitch is going to just immediately get that. Or even the Thatcher. They do have a Kaid, although I'm curious to see how they're, what their uh, thoughts are on this, what they're trying to do here. And there goes the Twitch getting the things. <laughs> what a shocker! Yep. Okay, and there's Twitch peeking. And the Twitch is gone. They do have a Thatcher, though, so, I mean, and another Twitch drone, so, I don't know what their strat was there for that. Jaeger gets taken out by the Nomad. Just roam clearing, the Monty pushing in. Nomad falling right behind him. Maiden is definitely trying to get some uh, rounds on the board. My device is like it. Like I said before, Nomad definitely underappreciated. I still do have, I think it's. That's Bandit on the Rome. And guess what? He's gonna come right up those stairs. Yep. And wait for it. Ah, there he is. 
to a Nomad. Nomad is just going to go back. Didn't really do much because there was no one there to get the kill, but it definitely told Bandit, <laughs> no fucking way are you going this way. Castle getting a kill onto the Diffuser. Did he shoot his feet? He m oh, no, he shot through the Thermite Hole. My bad. Monty getting a kill onto the bandit. Those are all the roamers gone. Let's see if, uh... Oh, Monty. Monty! Holy shit! We move carefully. High risk, high reward, I guess. <laughs> Damn. Monty is wasting no time. Monty's going for the plant. He's not. Decided not. Please don't tell me. Please don't do it. Oh, my God. Wow. The balls on that monster. Five to three. Looks like SR is going to go back to dorms, try their luck again. Honestly, get like a visual or a calf for the roam, because they push the roamers real hard with the Monty. And there we go, there's a vigil right there. Great, great round by Maiden. Great attack, very solid, clearing the roamers. The Twitch and the uh, Thatcher double is, that it's brilliant. Just make sure you can 100% get the wall. Not bringing a castle this time though. Castle did slow the attack down a little bit. And I think it, it definitely helped. But the vigil, mm, I don't know. The vigil definitely is gonna help with the roaming. It's just Vigil's got to do his job. He's got to do it. We have to see a nice solid roam by Vigil this round. Pretty standard sight setup. Nothing too fancy. I'm just worried about not having the castle. I think that was a misstep by uh, SR. I think they really should. I think this site definitely improves with the castle. Not trying for a bandit trick again. I don't know. I mean, just sticking them there like that doesn't work. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Monty, once again, leading the charge. They're going to just secure this hallway. Why not? Free, it's free real estate. Ah. Uh, I mean, he is pushing up pretty freaking far by himself. Jaeger, this could either be good or bad for Jaeger. They got the wall open. Monty's gonna push from this side. I he's, just, he's just going around. He did not see the Jaeger. Jaeger gets some health off, take, taken off of the uh, Monty. Twitch gets a kill onto the Vigil. That is the Roamer down. I'm assuming Vigil tried to come up those stairs over there. Yep, Vigil definitely tried to come up from the flank. A Nomad probably went off. It's just not. It's hard. Nomad is a must pick for this map. I hope he twitches them. Just, <laughs> I hate it when it happens to me, but when people fucking twitch the hell out of someone, it's just, it's so funny to watch them squirm. Haid pushing up and getting a kill. Up to the Thatcher, that was nice. Silence on Haid's gun. Ooh. Got a lot of 
Maestro getting a kill right there. Monty coming up. Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. You know, I love the Monty plays. Oh god. <laughs> Jaeger gets taken. Oh, Nomad gets a kill. Jaeger gets Nomaded. And Nomad gets a double kill right there. 2 3. Maiden just pulled this back. Ooh, see that's what happens when you're too aggressive. Sometimes it's just nice to sit back and just enjoy the ride. Still 2v2, 17 seconds left, gotta get the plants off. Kaid. No, oh my god! What just happened right there? Oh my god. And Switch just tried to run away? What the fuck? Switch could have just. Wow. Kaid missing his shots, just spraying and then having to reload. Having to switch to his pistol and he just. He panicked. Twitch panicked. Wow. That was really, a Maiden really came back that round. They put some bodies on the board fast. But unfortunately, it was not. SR still took takes the round. Get the scoreboard open for you. You're going to try their luck in Kitchen Cafeteria. This is the first site they won. But, again, they gave up control of Infirmary way too fast to Maiden. Way too fast. They did not have... And, again, they don't have a Bandit. They don't have a Mute. But I guess they're not Bandit tricking in their other sites. I guess it's just better just to not bring it at all. If you're not going to try to Bandit trick and the enemy team is bringing a Twitch and a Thatcher, I guess at that point, don't even bother. Again, I'm telling Legion to just Legion the hell out of if Infirmary over here. Just, just throw some goo mines in there just to annoy them. Just to waste their time. Doing the classic mirror behind the... Uh furnace right there or the stove oven whatever you guys call it where you're from yep here we go you read my line mine re legion just throw some legions in there and just walk away Ooh. <laughs> I wonder how they're already lit. I know Mirror accidentally shot Legion, but what the fuck happened to Smoke? Monty just pushing right in. Castled that. Unfortunately, I don't... That should bring heart. A uh, soft destruction? No, soft destruction. Oh, nope. Twitch. Twitch has got it. Usually you don't see Twitch bringing soft destruction. Usually Twitch brings some play more. But I guess, I mean, same thing. Get rid of those castle switch. You definitely need to use up your utility. Dude, this fucking Monty just trucks it. I swear. <laughs> oh my. I love seeing the Monty plays. I know you guys are probably by now, but... I love it. Uh, let's see. Monty, yep. Monty just pushing right in. Ooh, Monty get losing most of his health right there by the castle. It's not looking good. He's trapped in the corner right now. Move carefully. Oh. 
Monty getting away with his life, and he's going back in for more. See, they're all stacking up here. I don't know. I don't know if that's the play. Oh. Wow. It's all castled. You gotta use that soft to get twitch. You gotta get to the soft destruction. And there goes the nomad. Monty gets downed by the lesion in infirmary. Thatcher gets taken out. Not looking good for Maiden. And sorry, being too aggressive right there. Yep. Oh my god, how is that not ahead? That was definitely. Okay. <laughs> I guarantee that's what he's saying. Wow. Looks like SR is going to take it. 7-3. Wow. There was definitely some ups and downs this game. And of course, the new skin on Smoke. Going to present that. It's a great game overall. A lot of the rounds went back and forth. A lot of the rounds could have been either side taking it. And SR just came out on top. And we're going to get the head of SR in here for a post-game interview, which I believe is Washed Up Ash. Give a little uh, quick interview, and then we're going to have another game right after this. Hey, welcome. Uh, make sure you include your audio just so the fans out there can hear you. There we go. Hey, hey, yeah. All right. First off, I just want to start by saying that was a great game. You guys played it beautifully. There was a couple rounds where you guys struggled a little bit, but you definitely came out on top. And I just got to ask, how prepared were you for Fortress? We actually were kind of prepared for it. Um, it was one of the maps we had talked about that we felt that we would probably catch them off guard on, uh, that Forrest wouldn't be able to use his Monty as effectively as he could on some of the other maps that are more corridor, more large room-based maps. Um, and as you kind of saw, that, that's kind of what happened. And um, yeah, so we, we, were, we were more prepared than uh, we probably let on at first. Yeah, no, it was it was great. The map was great. It's the first time we're seeing Fortress, and it was definitely a great game to cast and to watch. It's just, it was it was a great game. A lot of the rounds were, like, back and forth, especially that round where I think it was Kaid killing that Twitch. Oh, oh my yeah. God, I had, like, a heart attack just watching that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, wow. was, uh, that was an intense round. Um, I, and it was funny because I, I, uh, I was calling for him. I was dead, and I was like, man, he's, he's on your left. He's on your right. And I was like, man, where is this guy? And it was because he was right, right there in the middle. And I was like, and then, he you know, he killed the... Uh, first, uh, first one that comes through, I was like, "Yo, pre-fire left," and he, he started his pre-fire a little too soon. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they ran out of bullets. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was, it was, it was rough to watch. I was yeah, like, "Damn!" I was but, like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, it was. Now, uh, but it how, was all uh, yeah. How about the pick and bands? It seems like they did a lot. The targeted <laughs> ash band. It looks like on yourself and then yeah, the doc. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Is there a big player on your team who plays doc? Uh, yeah, Bissell plays Doc, man. He's a, he's a really good Doc. He's a strong, strong OBJ Doc player. Um, and he's good with the stems, not just for himself. He's not one of those kind of uh, Slayer Docs. Because you saw him as a Slayer role on attack. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And then, obviously, I, I play Ash. Um, and that, that, they're the second team in a row to uh, you know, target Ban Ash against Ban me. Ban Ash against you, yeah. Yeah. But as you saw, I, mean, I, I hopped right into the uh, you know, support role, and I was... It all went fine. No, it was. You, it seemed like it wasn't that big of an issue. I th honestly, when I started, I was like, "This might be a big issue." A lot of teams, it's, it's what's what Jack always says: separates boys from men. It's like if you can handle the target bands, if you can handle all the shit being thrown at you, it just separates it and gets you uh, better. Separates the better teams. Yeah, no, uh, you know, one thing that we that we will do and I've had them do for me is uh, uh, randomly when we're playing, whether it's a scrim, whether it's a rank or anything, I tell them that they, I tell them to tell me that I can't run Ash. 
and I have to pick somebody yeah. else. And just random, you know, not not this whole match. And so I'm, like, completely caught off guard. And, uh, you know, that really helps me to not get, like, in my head about it. Because, uh, I mean, because er everyone, everyone knows that if I have her, I'll slay out. If I don't, you know, there's something else I can do. Yep, you always got to have a backup. Now, is there any closing thoughts? Any uh, thing you want to say to the fans out there? Thank you to your uh, teams. Anything? Uh, Shoutouts? Yeah, I mean, uh, one thank you to my team for showing up and showing out today. Uh, really appreciate it. Really appreciate everyone's work and uh, going through this kind of rough patch we've been having, you know. And then thanks for everybody who watches. Everyone who likes uh, and loves collective esports, man. Appreciate y'all for letting us play. All right, and there you have it. This is the head of SR, and we're going to be back with another game in about 15 minutes. So don't go away too fast, and thank you guys for tuning in.